Hello, this is David Bernheim from Exile Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a single image to a beautiful full screen design using PowerPoint's artificial intelligence tool called Design Ideas. And here's an example of the cool things you can do. You can have text that's overlaid with a background that you can read it in a very cool design. Uh, you can have different styles of that text, and it can even cleverly crop the image to make sure that you see the face of the tiger and leaving out the insignificant bits. So let's see how it works. So PowerPoint with Office 365 has this tool called Design Ideas. It's in the Home tab or in older versions on the Design tab. And what it does is it can give you re ways to redesign your, your slides in very, very clever ways. So I did one video already on bullet lists. This is on full screen images. I'm going to do more on multiple images, charts and data, branded slides, and then an entire theme as well. And the, keep, the list keeps going for ways that you can do this. It's really, really great. So here's an example, just a sneak peek of what it can do with bullet lists. You could watch my full video, but here I can show you ideas of how it can actually put everything into individual icons for you where it looks up what it thinks is relevant for that. Even those multiple images versus one image. If you don't like how that looks, you can click that and choose a different one. I'm not going to do more on this here because I do have another video devoted to it. Let's focus on the images. So I have a slide with a, uh, a text caption and an image. And if I go to design ideas here, it gives me these things to play with. So again, look how it cleverly can crop around the tiger's face and forget about the other stuff. Or if you like this design, which I love these full screen, beautiful images, then you can have this going up cleverly over here. I do have another video as well where I talk about how to manually make full screen images work, but this is a sneak peek as to how this one can work. Also, if you have chosen your idea, uh, if you move it around a little bit, it can even give you different iterations of how that might look. So with your idea, you can fine tune it, which is really, really cool. Also works with different kinds of layouts. So you need to be using on the home tab, these different layouts. Predominantly these three, title and content, title only and blank, these tend to give you the best ones. And title slides and section headers can work as well. So here I have a the layout that is title and content. Now, I'm not using the original, which looks like this. I'm just kind of, I move these around, but it can still sort of give me ways of how to make that work. I don't think this is particularly riveting, this way of doing things but uh, I tend to use it on these two the most. Talking about blank slides, if you do it without any text, it will give you, you know, just some borders maybe around it, some frames or, <laughs> oh, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Look how it does that clever cropping. That's beautiful, isn't it? Or this way as well. Uh, great, so that's why I wanted to show you this video. That's how to work with full screen images on PowerPoint's designer tab there. Thanks for watching.